All right, guys. Um, welcome to another video. Um, today is something a little bit different. We're doing the Mondeo. Um, basically, for the last nine months, the clutch has been um, not slipping, but it's been the pedal goes right to the floor. If I reverse the trailer on, or well, the trailer fully loaded, should I say? Um, and in the last few weeks, the Oh, bearing thingy with Jiggy decided to start making a really loud noise. I'll show you what it sounds like. It did actually quiet down. It was really loud, but then I got stuck in traffic for about an hour and it got a bit warmer, I'm assuming, and it's changed, but it's still there, I'll show you. Hopefully you can hear it. Hear it? Turn the radio on. Yeah, so... Um, went to a few garages and they basically, all of them quoted between 400 and 500 quid in labour. It's quite uh, apparently you have to take the subframe off, so yeah, I decided or well, do it ourselves because I can't really justify 500 quid on it to be honest with you. Um, I'll show you the bits I got. So, yeah, we've got a Luke LUK, whatever you call it, dual mass flywheel because obviously these have a dual mass flywheel and it'd be stupid not to change it at the same time because originally I thought it was the flywheel, but yeah, it's not. Um, and a Luke clutch and slave cylinder. So this, this is obviously the, the bit that's gone. But so yeah, so the plan is to quickly move some things around, have a little tidy up, get the Fiesta over there, bring them on there in, and then go from there. It's not going to be a full-on guide. It's just going to be a little a video. Um, on it, so yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Right, I've had a bit of a tidy. She's in. She's a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be. Uh, it just fits down there because I was hoping to get it back a bit more, but yeah, that'll do. Um, the Fiesta, what I'll do is just roll it forward each day, and then we've got all this work space to work on it, really. Um, so yeah, I think the next step is to lift, get the bonnet up, take all the, because you need to take all the battery and stuff out to get to the bolts for the bell housing. So I'm going to do that today. And then I think my dad is coming up tomorrow and he's going to give me a hand with the actual gearbox on the subframe. Because obviously two sets of hands are a lot easier. Um, yeah, I'll crack on with this and I'll see you in a bit. Well, there it is, a 2.2 diesel. How exciting, eh? To be fair, I've owned this car two and three years, maybe, and it's been sound as anything, so I can't really fault it. I knew the original owner, so it's on its original first clutch and all that, so yeah, it's not too bad. All right, let's get cracking. What I'm gonna do is a tip that I learned from a few people on various YouTube videos. Get a photo on my phone, so if I do kind of forget where things go, I can look back at the photo. Might get a few photos just to cover myself, really, because we've all been there, we've taken something apart, and then we've gone, oh shit, one bolt left over.
Right, I'll quickly show you under there, really. Um, from the top, it's just disconnect that. I'm gonna might move this hose, so the bolts are right under there, engine mount. But under, underneath, I've got this stupid sub thing, which basically, So this is this big subframe, or goes round there, across. That's got to come down, as well as the gearbox, because you can't fit the gearbox out without removing that. So yeah, I think the first plan is to get the drive shafts out and then start disconnecting things from the subframe then subframe down engine gearbox or gearbox down Woo! Right, I made a bit of an amateur mistake um, I forgot to take the hub nuts off after I jacked it up so I took them off and they were on tight I had to get out the old big boy for this one and when I was pulling on that I thought I saw the end start to bend, but it did go eventually. They were on stupidly tight. I wish I filmed it. But yeah, whew, it was knackering. So yes, plan is today, or tonight is evening, get the front suspension ready so I can just lower the whole subframe down with like the front struts all on it. So then I can do it, just undo the three bolts on the top. That is the plan, so um, yeah, I'll catch up in a bit. Alright, well, um, we've got the subframe off, as you can see, pretty heavy old thing, um, yeah, it came out pretty well, uh, the drive shafts were there and everything, um, yeah, that's going to call it a day for today, um, my dad came up and helped me, he's running around the corner, hiding, so, um, yeah, so I'll probably end the video on this one, and another part of the next day, so yeah, I'll see you later.